travel to the UAE, including Dubai, India, and 14 other countries comes with severe penalties for Saudis. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is a country of 35,393,638 people. As of today 522,108 Saudis had caught COVID-19 and 8,200 died. Saudi Arabia is in place 126 in the world in regards to the most hit countries in the world by COVID and number 118 in regards to the death rate. Neighboring UAE and 15 other countries are on the no-travel red list designed for Saudi citizens with severe penalties in place for violators. Currently, 11,379 Saudi Arabians are infected by COVID-19 and 1,406 cases are serious hospitalizations. Last week the kingdom registered 8,824 new cases, up from 8,324 for the previous week, which is a 6% increase. 85 people passed, compared to 95 the week before, which is an 11% decrease. 20% of Saudi Arabian citizens are fully vaccinated with having received both shots, another 33% received the first doses. Neighboring United Arab Emirates has 69% of its people fully vaccinated and an additional 8.5% had received the first dose. The United States in comparison has 49% vaccinated with 7.8% additional having received the first shot. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, however, has the UAE on its red list making travel to the Emirates a criminal offense. Libya, Syria, Lebanon, Yemen, Iran, Turkey, Armenia, Ethiopia, Somalia, Congo, Afghanistan, Venezuela, Belarus, India, and Vietnam are also on the Saudi red list. Any Saudi citizen caught traveling to any of the red list countries is facing still penalties including a three-year travel ban. The ministry called on citizens against traveling directly or indirectly to the red list countries where the pandemic has not yet been controlled and there is a surge in cases of mutated strains of coronavirus. It also urged citizens to exercise caution and stay away from areas where instability prevails or the virus is spreading and take all precautionary measures regardless of their destination. It also urged citizens to exercise caution and stay away from areas where instability prevails or the virus is spreading and take all precautionary measures regardless of their destination. Saudi Arabia is currently heavily investing in building its travel and tourism industry and in supporting the world with billions of dollars supporting the tourism sector. On WTO, WTTC, the Tourism Resilience and Crisis Management Center all opened offices in the kingdom. When the world of tourism needed help, Saudi answered the call, putting the kingdom in the seat of a global leader of this sector. Also, the travels and tourism industry and the GCC nations H has witnessed massive growth over the past few years. The Saudi chapter of the World Tourism Network has launched the Saudi Tourism Group Initiative, 